I don't know about you, but I'm the most inept that ever stepped. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, I'm Gary. Thanks for joining me today for this look at These Things Take Time by a popular request. Loads of you wanted to hear this one by the Smiths, bit of old school Smiths, proper Smith song really. Um, I'm going to break down every part of it, I've had a good look at it. As I've done in some of the other Smiths lessons, rather than approaching this in a kind of tab style, a series of loads of separate individual picked notes, I've decided to approach it as I did with There Is A Light and that joke isn't funny anymore, probably some of the others too. Um, based on the un underlying chords. So we're gonna just understand what's going on with the chords. There's only six chords in the song. Sounds like there's loads more going on, doesn't it? But it's it, the skill really with the, the way Johnny plays. I, I think he probably would have started with those chords when they wrote the song, I would guess. And then he's just embellished them, added to them. Uh, there's a couple of different variations actually. I've listened to some old live versions. So we'll look at some different options that we can throw in as well. If you're new to the channel, I'm really glad you found us and I really hope you enjoy the lesson. And if you do, then please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe to the channel. It's going to help me grow it. Anyway, let's zoom in, we'll get close up and we'll break down every little bit of these things take time. Okay, there we go. And up close now, hopefully you can see everything clearly. So we're in standard tuning for this one. Capo, second fret, as with a lot of Smith songs. I'm on the clean channel. I've got nice clean jangly tone, some reverb through the amp, a little bit of compression, plenty of chorus, it's the 80s, that's the kind of tone that we're after. And as I said in the introduction, uh, my preferred way of approaching some of these things is to think about the underlying chords that are going on, and then we'll look at the embellishments, some of the parts that Johnny plays. So throughout the lesson, I'll demonstrate some of the core sort of root chords that's going on behind parts before we, we look at the individual parts. Uh, so for our introduction I'll just play through it and then we'll break it down. It sounds like this. Okay so a nice introduction there. So the underlying chord is G to A and then C. couple of guitars or you want acoustic going on behind it then you, you can always play those chords and Johnny's playing the the chord the, the G chord there as a triad so I'm on the seventh fret of the guitar on the D string 6G 5B striking down from the D string and you want to be quite punctuated with these mute in between slide back as well if you, if you want to put that in. And then we go to the C and D chord, so this is just a power chord. It's more picked, whereas those first chords it's more of a downward, more of a proper strum, a proper strike with a bit of energy. Here we've got a bit more picky. And we finish with an open G string there. So just in case you don't know those chords, I'm on the root there, A3 from the capo, and then D and G on the what, seventh fret of the guitar. Just really playing those lower strings. So, so you've got the octave on the G string there. And we go into the first verse. Alright, so into the first verse, the vocals come in. So the underlying chords for the verse, E minor to D, to A, to B, and back to a D, so my eyes have seen the glory of the sacred one to kind, you took me behind, a disused railway line. Okay, so let's have a look now what 
Johnny's playing over that. So for the E minor part, we start with just this open sixth string and then picking back upwards on the first and second string. Quite unusual, quite punctuated. You can let that open sixth string ring out. Just tend to mute it as I bring in the, the thinner two string. And that's it for the E minor. That's that's what he's playing instead of a traditional E minor chord. And then we move up to a D chord and I'll show you the next position. So we start with an open D string. And then on the ninth fret, I've got the B and G strings fretted there. Picking backwards, B, G, D. So again from the top, open D string, picking backwards to the D string, and then I'm holding down B10, and then another open D string, and then the E and B strings open. So all together from the top. Next we move to the A chord position. I'll show you the movements for that now. Right, so Johnny's part around this A chord sounds like this. sort of A triad, if you like, a bit like we had in the introduction, picking from the open A string, the D string, although I'm holding the, the G string down as part of that chord position, I'm not actually picking the note, so A, D, up to the B string, and then back to the A and D string. A chord, uh, it alternates uh, as the verse goes on, so we've got that position. He sometimes does more of a kind of so it's the same position but just with the sus from a little finger on the G string there. So you'll hear that if you listen to the track. So the two movements. of the parts for the A chord and then we go down to this B power chord so we've seen that shape before and then we finish on our D sus so it's a D but with an open first string for the, so back to the D position but we just take our fingers off so I'm holding down got an open first string striking down from the D string and I'm hitting the, the B string as part of the chord and taking my finger off and then an open G so taking my, my hand right off the chord okay so taking all those parts and putting them together in sequence play through slowly we get this alternate between those different A shapes that I showed you just on the A chord the other chords play the same and those are the verse positions part of the 
the verse where we get these. I can't believe you ever cared and those are just the same chords that we had in the introduction. And then we're into the chorus, these things take time, we'll look at that next. Alright, so we're coming to our chorus chords then, so as I did before I'll just show you the underlying chords. So these things take time, E minor up to an A sus, which is an A with an open B string. These things take time, I know that I am. But Johnny won't settle for that, he's going to play a cool riff instead, and it's a really great riff. Uh, really. I love uh, working on these things, Johnny's parts. I think only he could come up with something like this. But we start uh, on the G string 11. We play an open B and E string. Striking downwards from the G string. And we slide that down to the 6th fret of the guitar. twice and then he adds a harmony in on the B string so I'm playing B10 along with that G note this time I'm not playing the E string I'm really just concentrating on the, the G and B strings and then we get a couple of chords just to finish off the chorus sound like this that go in between that so we'll look at those in a moment so the chords it's our power rock G take it up to a C so I'm holding all this down I'm just moving the root of the chord up to a C position downward strokes quite powerful So let's look at some of these nice little riffs that go in between them. We can mix and match. I've got a couple of options for you. Okay, so we've got our nice chords there. So the first riff option is this. So I'm holding down B1, G2. Striking down from the G string, including the first string as well. back upwards from the open first string when I get to the top. Slide it back down and then just pick it again. And then take my fingers off. So. back into the next verse we'll look at. I'll just show you another little riff fill option there I've seen Johnny play this live sometimes really good you can mix and match actually if you're playing it in a band sounds like this <laughs> And then the B string again, and then the open first string. So there it is in all its glory. These things take time, a bit of proper old school Smiths. I really hope you've enjoyed the lesson. As always, let me know what you think. I love to hear from you. And as I always say, until next time, enjoy your guitar playing, and I'll see you soon.